23 in the Black Carolina Street, look. Take that. Yo, what's up? This your boy, F.L. Dissa. He broke one of my charges down, I think. Aggravated battery, like a drug charge. And I got a suspended sentence afterwards. But I was booked on second degree murder and four attempts and CDS charges along with drugs and guns. 18 finna be 19, right after I graduated, matter of fact. <laughs> and that was crazy. And then I just came home last year. Ever since then. <laughs> no, I was dug in. That's what come with this. Man, I accepted it, because I ain't gonna tell. So I accepted it, and I laid back in my rack and took my time, went up the road. Yeah. Got him scared, I'ma stank him. But, well, really, like, certain times, like, the warden was really moving me, saying, like, I was moving drugs through his thing, I was phones, I, you know, mass manipulation, stuff like that. Yeah, we can put the MO3 on. Yeah. What up, man? My with Texas tough. I got some little out that three out they bad it. Yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> I'm talking about no game play. He <laughs> 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 nigga be acting like police for real on this. I ain't lying, I be tweaking to tell you something. <laughs> but look, I ain't gonna with that. Yeah. Trying to send me back, huh? Skip it. I just got into knife fights. Yeah, real fights, you know what I'm saying? But it ain't really about nothing like, I survived. It's over, I mean, hey, you still living to tell that story? I done been in rides. I, mean, I had knife fights, regular fights. And I got snuck and had to turn around and flash out in the kitchen. I put that up on the TV screen for this to me. Man, you fighting for your life. What you mean? Are you, hey, media, you gonna swing that knife back or you gonna die? So what you gonna do? <laughs> you gonna learn to swing that knife back? Cause when I was flattening you little out, your big dog was steady trying to wave the flag, calling me and I'm side looking for me, all those pussy. <laughs> trying to turn up, nigga. I turn up. Here, send one. What up? Here, get me started again. I love it. That's yes, all. I done been on the investigation on lockdown. Been in that foot ride. All the fights. All the throwing the guard. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it come with that. All that come with that. Screaming f up till they take me. No way that they race me. I'm a real goon. When you see me, face me. Bullets hawk them down right at the light. We had to chase them. I was on some other I'm living like I'm Jason. Man. The mental, the physical. Put it like this here. When it's hot, it gets so hot in that cell. Look, you got to take all your clothes off and be in your boxes. Take the toilet water and put it on the floor to cool off. You hear me? I used to lay in that uh, to cool off. And when it's cold, it's freezing. Hit him with that chopper. He go bye bye. Did that rapper? With it? Yeah, did that Zaza. You look bitch wanna fuck on me. She called me dad dad, cause she know my money long. Yeah, done daughter. You ain't never, ever, ever, ever in your life got a question in my with that. Yeah, when you go to sleep, with that. When you wake up in the morning and breathe, with that. I'm turned. Yeah, I used to do it that. I ain't dying. You hear me? But that's in my mind because that's what I'm saying early. Say, look, you talk that I'm old like that. Look, I'm a gang to for real. Boy, look. Hey, look, don't get me started to get back. Real shit. Look, pull up on me before I pull up. You hear me? Gang forever that. Yeah, I'm like that. Boy, teach you how to think. I mean, don't, 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 don't begin, you know. If you do something, hey, make sure you get away with it. Don't forget it. You know, if you can't think, hey, I got this slogan. If he could think and I could think why he did. Honestly. Say, little bitch, you don't like me for another You don't even know me, boy. Yeah, you feel that? But look, my nuts hanging to the floor. 
Yeah. You running with that. Yeah, make sure they tell you that. My nuts hanging to the flow. Yeah, I don't got it. Yeah, I ain't screwed tight, look. Comment time my his shoes say, please, you know my shoes ain't fake. What you on another to? What you want to? Oh, they fake? I step on your face and them fake ass shoes then, ass boy. I mean, I just be me. You know, like me as a man, like you gonna see it in my face. Yeah, I mean business at all times. It was a nightmare, but it wasn't no nightmare like night, boom, night, 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 or something like that. The first time that we spoke on FL Dussa was in the Biggest Stepper series, part one. And FL Dussa had all those antics that we showed in the beginning. He was still trying to figure his way out after recently being released from prison, which slowed him down to where he didn't have too much motion going on. He had more than most of us, but not enough to blow him to the level that he wanted to be at. Now, FL Dusta's life has changed, and it was all due to one night going on tour with his big brother that he'd been knowing since six years old. After this night, FL Dusta's life would never be the same again. Hey, my brother called me, I'm on my way. I don't care who out there, I'm going. So I went on stage. Yeah, that's what happened. It went like that. He pulled that BWE chain out. Who around my neck, you know, was talking to me. He say, what I'm doing for you, I want you to do for somebody else. You heard me, you owe me nothing. Say, Dusa, I need you right quick. I need you to come here. He doing something different tonight, you heard me? Hey, I love you with all my heart. I knew you since you was a little kid. I'm proud of you. I love you with all my heart, you heard me? All I need you to do for me is do the same thing for somebody else that I'm doing for you. I never did this before. L.A. know what's up with me. You see me watching. So you know, you see me watching. LA, I'm glad y'all was able to share this moment with me, you heard me? If y'all don't know this Dussel, his grandmother later, I be talking about his Miss Candy, you heard me? He off my block, my same block, Carolina Street. We just cut different on that end, you heard me? I know you see me watching. I know you see me watching. After that night, the elevation of Dussa would begin as FL Dussa and Kevin Gates teamed up to get multiple millions of views on YouTube, as well as FL Dussa partnering with up and coming rappers and also Fred O'Bang. This man started to change his outlook on life and change his ways from the war of war mentality to I got to get this bag through the industry. It was no longer rapping and singing on the block. It was now honoring that BWA chain that's around his neck and becoming a global superstar. Just so you got them in here tonight. I'm like, oh, and then Gates hit me. Yeah. But see, I think I grew up under him. Like, I ain't never seen this side of life. So this is like, I'm reborn. Yeah. I see everything new. I'm 
You hang around money, you become money. You all what you hang around. Honestly. It's like life itself. Situation makes you who you are. Yeah. Honestly. That's why I am who I am. All this was planned. No pain, no gain. The grandson of the famously known Miss Connie, who was immortalized within Kevin Gates' music, who has made an enormously huge impact on his life, has now just raised her second up-and-coming superstar. But there is one overall important piece to FL Dissa's success that goes under the radar. And that important piece would have to be Making Moves Derek. Making Moves Derek has done amazing wonders with the marketing of this man FL Dissa. He has marketed him as the next up and coming viral superstar out of Baton Rouge and has done wonders, man. So he deserves his respect. But y'all check out a little bit of Making Moves Derek and his marketing skills. We're all in the back, man. Going to feed the homeless today. They were short on their workers. Just to come help them. Just had to come help them, man. They ain't have enough workers. So we helping them today on Easter Sunday. You know the damn no job. He gonna, he gonna tell you to grab more. Level man. Here you go for fresh. Making Moves Derek did wonders for FL Dussa's career, man. And that helped him elevate to another level. FL Dussa just recently said it out of his own mouth during an interview with Dirty Grove Bastards. Y'all check this out. I got people now. So, nah, you tripping. Sure? Yeah. I can't have everybody around me who's scared of me. Scared to tell me something. Nah. The reality is nothing. You gotta live this. Yeah, you want real money? You want a good life? Are you trying to make it? Are you trying to be something? Yeah, pick one. That's hard to do, bro. It's hard to do one. That's all you know. Yeah, but I feel like you're a man. You could adapt to change. What I mean by that? I feel like I could adapt to any habitat, good or bad. Yeah. So as y'all can see, that man making moves, Derek, has made an amazing impact on FL Dissa's life. Not only just his career, but his life overall. You know, giving him that backup, like, hey, stay focused, stay on the plan. But we know that no foundation, no corporation is built without a complete structure from top to bottom. So you got the FL gang who backs him as well. Of course, he's forever loyalty. That's his gang. You know what I'm saying? You got real G's like FL Lago going to war behind him, ready to back him. You got soldiers like FL Baby Cluck. Who he always refers to in almost every fl dissa song you heard about baby cluck and what he means to him you also got forever loyalty gang reese who gonna come and ain't playing about fl dissa you know what i'm saying like they they ready to go and do it all behind him that's their baby brother they love him you know what i'm saying you need that type of loyalty to build a foundation you also got fl travis and fl zo pound 
and it's a lot more but y'all get the overall point they aren't playing about their brother man they coming for those issues and then you also tie in one of the biggest components in kevin gates which is the connection to the industry and also someone that watched all of y'all come up so y'all know he got love for y'all man like genuine love you know grandma got a connection there so that's the tie to the industry and that gives you all the components you need to make a up and coming star in fl dissa i'm telling y'all man it, hey this man is just one hit song away and i believe that he has it in him especially when he starts to understand that he can do more than actually creating this gangster music and drill music he can make something for the world to vibe to but he's already ended up courtside at games man so hey he doing his thing ain't he you feel me that's how i rap you rap about your surroundings this what you live in. this what you going on this what the ike and mike walk through so you can speak on it because it's your life it's not faking or imitating this what's really going on but that's what making pressure that'll make a pressure that's right everybody that's what like it. when i can paint the picture you ain't seen or the picture you did see you know it's real there's certain pictures you can't paint unless you live the man's mindset is changing and he's elevating to another level he's starting to understand what he has at stake and the opportunities that are at hand right now he is on the brink of becoming the next one can't do the same thing forever when you gonna elevate i can't be great if i'm stuck at great honestly yeah i gotta get better he also understands and fully appreciates the opportunity that kevin gates gave him he knows that that opportunity saved his life and if it wasn't for kevin gates he might be back behind bars still behind bars or even worse in a grave but i ain't got nothing at the time so i'm gonna go <laughs> but then you got the og who tell you man look you could take this here and get out the hood you gotta be watching for the swat to come get y'all and braid team and you know what i'm saying watching over the shoulders and shooting at you you know stuff like that fl does is transcending and becoming the young man that he's supposed to be and of course he still has mishaps he's 23 years old you got to give him time to fully evolve into that person he's supposed to be you know science says that we're not done growing till around age 25 so he's still growing not only physically but mentally you know his frontal lobe is still coming in and he still needs time to fully become himself but as of right now he's showing signs of being okay i don't see fl dissa planning on doing anything to trick off this opportunity and he knows that this is a once in a lifetime thing after doing three and a half years you won't most likely see fl dissa make any major failures that can knock him off his pathway but y'all let me know how y'all feel about this biggest step of episode part two of the dissa situation hopefully it get the same love as the first one i appreciate that love family like y'all don't even understand what that means to me man so let's go ahead and elevate to the next level like i said it's our turn and we've been waiting patiently make sure you like comment and subscribe ring that bell icon and turn post notifications on all this is the biggest stepper series and all praise be to the most high peace and blessings kings and queens with that being said i'm out